guys, so me and Bella are back for another video. So today we're gonna do our four month baby update and postpartum update. And I'm a little behind with these videos, like I post them about a month late, so when you're seeing this, she's probably five months. But I know that this these videos get a little bit more views than some of my other ones, so I gotta keep you all updated. So really quick update on myself. Um, right now, everything's kind of you know, back to normal, I'm back working. Um, my parents are visiting, thank God, so they're kind of helping me as I'm like getting back to work. But luckily I have help and I'm just doing everything that I was supposed to do, you know, <laughs> before I had the baby plus the baby. Oh no, she just pooped. She just looked at me like, mommy, I'm pooping. <laughs> so here is baby girl. Um, I'll give you a quick update on kind of like what's been on my 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 postpartum update recently um i've been spotting a little bit no period though so that's kind of weird um still shedding hair i've been kind of thinking about more weight loss recently i'm only three pounds heavier than i was pre pre-baby like before i was pregnant but <laughs> you look at mama but um i'm heavier than i was than i want to be so I'm thinking about looking into keto because I have a couple of friends who have done it, but I know that I don't want to mess up my breastfeeding, uh, my nursing, so I'm looking into like a modified keto. This girl's tummy keeps rumbling and um, intermittent fasting, but I'm going to be very cautious about it, so I'm still doing research about it. Ideally, I would like to lose maybe 20 pounds, then I'll be back to my weight before I was, um, like this summer before I was pregnant. So... Let me know what you guys think. Have you tried that um, while nursing? That's my biggest concern. So meanwhile, I'm trying to eat healthier and work out, and I've been much more conscious of that. I just kind of feel bigger, even though I'm like my pre-pregnancy weight pretty much. I just feel bigger. So also I have on this boob, um, I had some clogged milk ducts, which I was able to massage out and put some heat compresses on, warm heat on, but now I have like a milk blister on my nipple and it is so painful. I've looked up natural remedies like putting, uh, do like an Epsom, Epsom salt, kind of like rinse on it, vinegar, putting olive oil to keep it moist so that it will kind of burst the, the blister. <laughs> she's just staring at mama but um nothing has popped the blister it's like a little white spot on my nipple and it hurts like it hurts like it did the first week i nursed her when i had some blisters then so um i'm just hoping like it'll go away but it's been about a week so it's very painful and I, not only does it like it feels like sharp pains that i kind of get in the boob area as well as obviously the nipple so in that to when i'm not even nursing let alone the pain when you nurse. So if you have tips on that, let me know. I just kind of Google remedies and I don't want to take antibiotics or anything like that. I'm trying to hopefully heal up myself first. Um, so in terms of baby girl, so she's four months old. She is a grown little lady. She only likes to be held facing forward now. Um, if you try to hold her like facing you, she starts to fuss. So instead of holding her like this, how everybody wants to hold her, she's heavy. Everybody wants to hold her like this, and she does not like that because she wants to see what's going on. She usually cries. Sometimes she'll let you do that. So you have to hold her like this. And that's pretty much on par with like her development goals. Like they're more interested in that their outside surroundings. Um, we had recently transitioned her into three to six month clothing just this week. It's a little baggy on her, but the zero to three was definitely getting snug. So she has this cute little jumper on. She has to wear bibs every single day now because she's so drooly, her hands are always in her mouth. So we're trying to get her to use the teething toys instead of her hands because sometimes she gags herself. So the bibs are a mess. She started giggling in this last month. Look, look at that. Do you see that drool? She started giggling, but she doesn't do it a lot, just occasionally. So you have to work on making her giggle. Like you can make her smile easily, but giggling is something else. Um, she is, I think, a little bit more clingy now. Like she wants attention. She cries, like kind of like, not really cries, but just goes whines for you. Um, I know it's like when she wakes up in the morning, I just have to like kind of take her out of her bassinet and she stops crying. 
but I do think that she's going through a sleep regression at four months because now she wakes up a couple of times at night and I have to nurse her. I did not have to do that before. Like, I'm used to just maybe pop the pacifier back in, but now I have to nurse her and she like full out cries unless I do. So that's not good. Um, we went to our first road trip for Christmas. We went like six hours to North Carolina to visit grandma. She was decent. Um, you know, like she slept the whole way there because it was a night tri trip. And on the way back, we drove back during the day and she slept most of it. So that was lucky. Um, and overall, I think it was free. It was okay. I think it's hard for her whenever she's not in her normal surroundings to like sleep and stuff like that. But we bought the, brought the bassinet and all of her gear because we just wanted to make sure she could be on some sort of regular regularity. So that was exciting. I have a couple of favorites that I would mention now, but I think I'm just going to save it for our three months must have videos, including um, some new shampoo, um, this sock holder that keeps her socks on, a car seat cover that I love, um, some new teething toys, like she loves the Sophie giraffe. I'll talk about that more in another video. Um, so she's, I've been using this app called Kinadu or Kindu. K-I-N-E-D-U, and it's really great because it shows you what games to play to kind of um, increase their development at whatever age they are. So we've been doing peekaboo um, and trying to get her to enjoy her new walker that grandma and grandpa got her, but her feet don't touch the ground. So right now we're really focused on trying to get her to like sit up a little bit more. So she went to her four month doctor's appointment and she's 13 pounds, 13.2 pounds, 24 inches, even though she feels way heavier. I think she's heavier, and that was that appointment was last week, I think she's heavier because she's been eating more. But even when she eats, she still cries a little bit after because I think she's like fussy and still hungry. So I'm just like, I don't want my milk production to go down. I heard that some people do around this time. So, but I will say it might be partly my fault. Cause, oh, look at, oh no. It might be partly my fault because I don't really pump anymore. Cause I don't. I really didn't feel a need to because my milk supply is like full um, in my freezer. So, and the doctor said that she's developing fine. She's actually a little underweight for her age, she's like 27th percentile. Her head and her length is a little bit above average though. <laughs> so I'm definitely going to change this bib because she spit up twice during this video. So here's little girl. This little onesie is really cute. It's like little flamingos on it and it has actual shorts. So here's my baby girl. She's a big girl now, huh? She's like literally my arms dying. Holding her. If you guys have any video requests, let me know. I'm definitely going to do that three month update um, and whatever else you guys recommend. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching once again. And until next time, have a great night. Ciao, Bellas.